Hello, or for those of you that have been following this series so far, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about segmentation. So what is that? Segmentation is taking your database and breaking it down into smaller and more concise groups of individuals that you can use to communicate with in different ways, in ways that suit their behaviours. Now obviously there's lots and lots of different segmentation techniques that you can use and we probably need about a five hour video to cover all of those, not just in terms of what they do, but the theory that's behind them. Now I have been told we've got five hours today, but I am going to try and keep this a little bit more concise. So we'll talk about two or three of the techniques that we use here at Rocket Mill. From a marketing perspective, perhaps the simplest place to start is with RFV or RFM modeling. Now that breaks down your customer database based on three core attributes that you can almost visualize in a cube. The R stands for recency, so how recently did somebody last make a purchase? Now that could be anything from within the past month to three or more years ago. The F bit stands for frequency, so how many purchases have they made previously or historically? Anything from one purchase ever up to 20, 30 or more purchases over their lifetime with your brand. The bit in the middle, which is the V, the value, sometimes referred to as M, monetary, is how much that customer represents. So how many customers are there? What percentage of the database does that account for? And how much revenue does that account for over the life cycle of your database? Now, of course, often it's more than just purchase behavior that defines how we can create these segments. Personal information such as age and gender and occupation or geodemographics such as household breakdown or average incomes can often influence how people behave or react to a piece of marketing communication. So building segments around each of those or maybe all of those individual variables together can be really, really powerful. Putting it all together, you can use statistical techniques to create segments around everything that you know. So that might be purchase behaviors, it might be personal attributes, it might be geodemographics, it might be anything else, how much wine they consume every evening, for example. Statistical methods are vast in the amount that we have out there. Popular techniques include decision trees. So that's taking a step-by-step -step approach where you split your data set out based on a significant variable at each stage. There's also a technique such as k-means. K-means looks at grouping individuals based on an average, an average data value within that group of individuals. There are lots more techniques and machine learning is widening that a lot nowadays as well. Now, of course, machine learning is something that five or 10 years ago was seen as innovative. But now building clusters around machine learning has gone from being smart to essential if you want to remain at the top or dominate your market sector that you're in. And from machine learning techniques, you can get into more granular levels of analysis. So rather than targeting or segmenting at a group level, you can look at individual-led strategies. So how do you put each customer onto their own journey? Come back next time and I'll tell you more.